Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing tonight? Coming through loud and clear. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> Hello, the Jason Productions. How are you doing? <clears throat> Am I coming? Excuse me. All right, cool, cool, cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Let me see who've I got in the chat with me tonight so far. Uh, someone on the internet because I don't know DJ Donley, the Jason Productions, Talon Daniels, Overzone, uh, Halloween Life. What's up, Damian Escobar, Max Punishment, my old buddy Max Punishment. How you doing, Jerpin? What's up? Hope you're doing well tonight, my buddy Orc. <clears throat> Jose Neves, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. All right, Hobbs, what's up? All my heroes are villains. <laughs> Max Punishment with the uh, fired orc hashtag, man. Orc, you've made a you've made a uh, enemy for life with Max Punishment. All right, Hobbs, what's up? Just checking my own levels there to see uh, see what's going on. So I thought I'd just do like a little lazy Sunday. I've not streamed in a while, so I thought I'd do a nice little lazy Sunday laid back uh, live stream. Hang out with you guys for a while. Jerpin, give Orc a raise. <laughs> How much do you think Orc, uh, wh what kind of salary should we pay Orc? European for his role on the sausage factory. Uh, not too much, Hobbs. Not too much. Just hanging out. Decided to do a lazy Sunday stream. <clears throat> what have you guys been into? Did you have a good uh, one pizza per show? Okay. Pay Orc in pizza. Orc would I'm sure Orc would be fine with that. <laughs> one pizza per show. Now that's what I call payment. That is good payment. Jose, you've been playing some Call of Duty World War II and Madden this weekend. Very cool. Very cool. What have the rest of you guys done this weekend? Did you guys go see any movies this weekend or uh, anything like that? <laughs> Think orcs should be paid in Canadian currency? I have to get me some Canadian currency. Two McGriddles. Two McGriddles per show. What would you prefer, orc? A pizza or two McGriddles per show? Ah, the Ted Bundy tapes. Yeah, I've been meaning to um, to start watching that. I hear that's really good. What kind of points do you use for the... What do you mean, what kind of points? Oh, paints. I'm sorry, I can't read. Uh, it depends on which mask I'm doing. Are you talking about base colors, or are you talking about the colors uh, for weathering? Uh, Jason Productions. Uh, and Cole is here. Cole, how are you? Hope you're doing well tonight up in Canada. Neil Bog 87 what's up? How are you doing tonight? 
my Sunday has been pretty good. Hung out. Uh, I um, went to my my girlfriend's grandmother's 93rd birthday today. Birthday party today. 93 years young. My goodness. So that was... And then I took a nap afterwards. So that's been my Sunday. That's been my Sunday. Movie Mac, how are you? Ah, you enjoyed my review of the 10 to Midnight Blu-ray. Thank you. I appreciate that. All my hero, all my heroes are villains. Why haven't you seen a movie in the theater in ten years? Jeez. Check out the Ted Bundy tapes. I have to, yeah, I, I hear good things, so I may have to do that. Base colors, base colors for uh, three, four, and five. I do ivory. Uh, but it's really all about the weathering that really makes them stand out. Now, sometimes with a four, if I want to do a really dirty four, I'll do a, um, it's a yellowish color. What's it called? Oh, geez. I've not painted a part four in so long. I don't, <laughs> don't remember what it's called. Um, gosh, I'll have to look it up, but, um, Part sixes, I start with an olive base. Part sevens, I either do a white or a, um, or not olive. Oh, why am I drawing such a blank here on all these colors? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I have to go look at my paints. I've actually not painted a mask in a little while. The last one I painted was a part five, and that's good old ivory. Um, a seven, you can use either a white or an ivory, but I mean, you're going to weather it pretty hardcore. Um, part for eights, I use a yellowish color because I like the, ye the yellow, really nasty, toxic looking color for a part eight. Part nines, you can do uh, a white or an ivory base on that one because you're going to muddy that one up a lot too. Um... Jason X's are interesting because you can either do like a yellowish base or you can do the, um, uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to go look at my colors. <laughs> oh, geez. <clears throat> I hope that helped a little bit, Jason Productions. Oh, thank you, Neil Bonk. Thank you, guys. What shirt am I rocking? I'm rocking the new, um, well, it's newer. The last uh, Scream Factory, or Scream Factory, the last um, Fright Rags, uh, Silent Night Deadly Night Part 2 shirt that they released with uh, Eric Freeman on it. Very nice shirt. Very, very nice shirt. <clears throat> Name a movie where wait a minute, where'd that go? Name a movie worth twenty plus do, twenty dollars plus concessions that came out in the last decade plus. Wow. Okay. Um goodness. Uh that came out in the last decade. I mean, there's been a lot, man. There's a lot of movies that uh, came out in the last ten years that I really liked that I saw in theaters. What was the last movie you saw in the theater? Uh, All my heroes are horses. That's what I'd like to know. Hey, Josh, how you doing, buddy? Everything's going good over here. Um, I've I've heard of the Nag Myers masks. I'm not super familiar with them. I've heard of them. Hey Manny, what's up? How you doing? Max Punishment, you prefer going to the theater solo, especially if it's a movie you've been looking forward to? Why is that? You don't want to share in the 
the movie going experience with anybody? Oh, you, uh, yeah. You can usually get a better seat if you go solo. That's true. That's true. Uh, I've got, in the background, I've got um, a Trick or Treat Studios Part 2 that I had Dick Warlock sign for me at a convention a few years ago. I got a Part 6 that I had overhauled by Bad Masks. Um, another Part 2, uh, that ba it's a Trick or Treat Studios mask that um, Bad Masks overhauled. And uh, really made it look cool. And then on the bottom shelf, if I can kind of get out of your way below it, uh, down there next to my leather face masks, that's a part one that um, my buddy James painted for me. Oh, Halloween life, man! You're going way back talking about the uh, the Twilight Marathon and the, the the slushy video. Oh my God, dude, you're going way back. <clears throat> oh, all my heroes. The last movie you saw in the theaters was Trick or Treat. Has it been ten years since? Did that come out in theaters? Yeah, it's pretty cold here in Kentucky right now, too, Josh. Pretty cold. I saw Ant-Man and the Wasp on a Disney cruise. Uh... Jeremy is upstairs uh, asleep. Jeremy goes to bed like clockwork every night at 8 p.m. So, he is upstairs asleep. Uh, Zach, no, I've really not been gaming in a long time. Um, I'm, I kind of I kind of thought about buying the new um, Resident Evil 2 remaster. But, um, I never liked the third, you know, the third person, the, 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 the point of view on those games. And especially, you know, on keyboard and mouse, I think I could do all right at those maybe, but with, with a controller now nah. and my, my computer is not, uh, I've got a nice computer, but it's just not a gaming computer. So I thought about getting it, you know, just to play it. But um, I'm really waiting for uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Clearly, you've been a sub for a long time, Hobbs, for sure. Unicorn Thug, what's up? When's the next commentary on TSF? I don't know. I do not know. We may actually do the uh, viewer's choice and uh, do a poll and let you guys pick what movie you want us to do a, a commentary for next. Ah, Cole, you're teaching English at the library. That's cool. That's that's very cool. What upcoming conventions am I looking for? If if I miss anybody's question or anything, I apologize. Um, what upcoming conventions are you looking forward to, Piz? I'm going to, uh, Texas Frightmare for sure. Um, I was thinking about going up to Cincinnati Horror Hound. Um, just kind of do a little, you know, day trip thing with my girlfriend. Really the only person there that I want to meet is uh, Dick Wien. Roy, of course. But, um, I may do that one. Definitely going to do Texas Frightmare. Um, and from there, I don't know. Yeah, MK11 does look really good. I'm, I'm excited for MK11. Hey, Dookie, what's up, man? You're having a lazy Sunday, too? 
Uh, Steven Lapierre, what's up, man? Resident Evil 4. Is that one Biohazard? I have played the one that was in first person. I actually did a couple of videos uh, playing that one. And then I just I put it down and I, I, I've yet to pick it back up. I, and not that I didn't like it. I just, you know, there was just other, you know, other stuff. Still waiting for the license to drive commentary? Well, you know, that might be one of the choices when we do the viewer's choice. You'll have to vote for it. Where do you get your repro posters? That Dawn of the Dead is sweet. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. When um, George Romero signed my Dawn of the Dead poster... He unrolled it and he looked at it and he went, is this an original? He thought it was an original. And I said, no, <laughs> no, it's not an original, but um, it, it, it fooled him. So I, I don't remember who, where I got that one from, but it's pretty good quality because I mean, it fooled, it fooled Romero. Romero thought it was an original. Uh, but to answer your question, mostly off of either eBay or Amazon. But I mean, you have to be, you have to be uh, careful. Kind of look at people's user ratings, especially if you go on, if you're going to buy them from eBay, because um, you know, you may have. Like it really, the quality of the poster really, you can tell when you get down and you start looking at like the credits. And if the credits at the bottom of the poster are really pixely and, you know what I mean, not very clear, not sharp, then it's not a good repro. And um, so keep that in mind. I've actually got a couple of smaller posters that are, are not great reproductions. Because when you get down and you start looking at those credits, they're very, you know, they're not very good. But mostly off of Amazon. Uh, well, mostly eBay, but I've gotten some off Amazon too. Uh, who's going to be a spooky empire this year, Nilbog? Hey, Ryan. What's up, man? Really enjoy your channel and love when Jeremy is on. Hope to see you at Horror Hound. Cool. Yeah, I may just, I may show up there. If I go, it'll probably be like on a Friday. Do they still do Friday Night Film Fest in Louisville? Very, very seldom. They really ran that show into the ground. The The people behind that show, they just destroyed it. They just, they screwed over the fans year after year until finally the fans just said, screw you. And now they don't. Occasionally they do one, but I mean, it's nowhere near as big as what it used to be. I think the last time they did a show, it was like in an abandoned mall in some really bad part of louisville <laughs> so yeah they've they've fallen a lot in march there's a comic con in, in lexington yeah th I, yeah i think that yeah, that's the is that the lexington uh, toy and comic convention is that the one you're talking about jason Never been to a Monster Mania. Oh, you're finally going to meet Danielle Harris, Zach. Okay, cool. I met her at my very first convention many, many years ago. Oh, thank you, Halloween Life. Appreciate that. What am I doing for Valentine's Day? I'm sure watching my bloody Valentine will be a part of it. Thank you, Sawyer. Appreciate that. Yeah, well, they, they it fooled Romero. It definitely fooled Romero. Let me see who's going to be a spooky empire. Let me look it up here. Spooky Empire 2019, March 22nd through the 24th. 
Uh, Christina Ricci, Veruza Ball, Henry Thomas, D. Wallace, and Louis Teague. Looks like you're having an E.T. Uh, reunion. Danny Pintaro. Yeah, Christina Ricci's now gotten on the uh, the convention circuit. I see her uh, being. Uh, I see that she's coming to a bunch of shows soon. So, yeah. Thank you, Sawyer. Ah, Bookhouse Boy 77 from back in the day. Always watch your vids. Thank you, man. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah. How have you been, man? It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. What about Scarefest? Um, have they announced anybody for Scarefest yet this year? Let me see. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell's going to be there. Bruce Campbell's also going to be at... Um... Oh, Ted Ramey's going to be there, too. Let's see who else is going to be there. Bruce Campbell, Ted Ramey, Alex Vincent, uh, David Howard Thornton from Terrifier. Bruce Campbell and uh, Ted Ramey and Sam Ramey are going to be at Texas Frightmare. So I'm going to have to get me a uh, Evil Dead. I don't, I don't know if I want an Evil Dead or Evil Dead 2 poster signed by all of them. I, I think I would lean toward Evil Dead 2. Just because that artwork of the skull with the eyes is just so... Yeah, it just reminds me of... Reminds me of the video store. Hey Joe, what's up man? Hope you're doing well. Princess Luna Moon 12, what's up? Hope you're doing well. just want James Hampton to go to a con again. James Hampton was really nice. I met him at my very first... I, he was the very first person at the very first convention that I went to that I went and got an autograph. Walked right up to his table, very first one, Teen Wolf's dad, got my autograph from James Hampton. Really nice guy. Uh, play Friday the 13th the game. Last time I tried playing Friday the 13th the game, it was very, very buggy and glitchy, and I just... I actually, actually recorded some footage and posted it on the channel of my experience. So, <laughs> what conventions are you uh, are you planning on attending this year, Max? Who would be my dream person to meet at a convention? Oh, jeez, I think they're all. They've all passed away, actually. Uh, Toby Hooper, Wes Craven, Betsy Palmer, uh, Angus Scrim. But um, I don't know who my dream person would be now, to be honest. I mean, geez. I've met a lot of... I've met a lot of... I've still not met Bruce Campbell yet. But hopefully we'll take care of that at this year's Texas Frightmare. Hey Seth is here. You got lucky at Best Buy today. What'd you what'd you pick up at Best Buy today? I have not met Adam Green. Holliston. I've heard of it. I've not seen it, Zach. <laughs> when you said you got lucky at Best Buy today, Seth, I don't I, I, I think Cole would like some clarification on Saying you got lucky. Ah, oh, you're still doing music, yes, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I remember you uh you were doing some music back in the day. That's cool, man. Keep it up. And still buying them blues. I understand. 4K, yep. That's cool, man. Ah, cool, Luna Moon. 
Have I ever been to Monster Mania? Nope, never been to a Monster Mania movie, Mac. Hey, Chris Wynn, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. I met Carpenter a few years ago. You found out you found the out of print Halloween complete collection for forty dollars. Okay, cool. Nice little snag there, Seth. Now let's see who's who's who was going to be at Horror Hound. Christina Ricci, Nev Campbell, Meatloaf, John Cusack, Christopher Lloyd, Feruza Bulk, Doug Jones, Dylan McDermott. Oh my God, Polly Shore. It's a definite now. I'm definitely going now. Polly Shore, get him si to, to sign my Biodome poster. Pff, hell yeah. Uh, still, out of everybody on that lineup, the only person I think I'd really want to meet is... Dick Wien. <laughs> He's the only one that stands out to me. Let's look at some prices here. Let's check out some prices here for these for these folks. Alright. Photo op with some dude. I have no idea who. 60 bucks. Christina Ricci photo op is 70 bucks. Christopher Lloyd photo op is 90 bucks. Holy crap. Holy holy. Oh. Holy crap, Dick Wean Jason costume photo op, 70 bucks, really? Did he even wear the Jason costume in the movie? Come on. Uh, Feruza Bulk is 60, Dylan McDermott is 70, James, James Jude Courtney is 60, uh, John Cusack is 100, Meatloaf is 70, uh, Nev Campbell is 80. Polly Shore is 50. Worth every penny. Okay. Ain't cheap. Oh, meeting Don Yes, yes. I would have loved to have met Donald Pleasance, too. Yes, yes, yes. Would have loved to have met Donald Pleasance. I did see Red, uh, Red Christmas or Red Xmas Chris Wynn. I, I, I didn't really care for it, to be honest. I mean, convention prices are just crazy all around, man. It's not cheap. It is not cheap. Traffic Cohen, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Jason Productions, you're going to try Whorehound in Ohio. Um, yeah, I had, well... I don't know. Well, I guess it was kind of a bad experience with Tom Savini. He tried to, I gave him a hundred dollars and he, um, tried to act like it was only a 20. I gave him a hundred dollar bill and he just took it and threw it under his table into his box of money and, uh, wasn't going to give me change back. So I was like, change please and he was like what oh uh, uh, oh and he reached under the table and pulled out the hundred and went oh i, I thought it was a 20 and i was like uh-huh <laughs> so sure you did <laughs> i'm also pretty sure he looked directly at the bill before he put it under his table so uh, he, he, i mean he, he could have seriously just thought it was a 20 i mean you know i highly doubt it but you, you never know uh, no, don't read it. Uh, not currently reading any comics right now, Unicorn Thug. Jeff Overing, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Let's 
see any great films lately. Um, great films? Well, uh, I don't know if it's a great film. I watched the new 10 to Midnight Blu-ray the other day. It was good Blu-ray release. Really enjoy the movie. Watched uh, Critters for the first time in many years the other day. Uh, part of the Critters uh, Blu-ray set. I'm going to review all the Critters movies out of the Critters Blu-ray set. Oh, thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. I have not seen Creed 2. My Chris Sarandon story. Yeah, Chris Sarandon was kind of... Yeah. Um... Well, well, which one? There, I've actually got two Chris Sarandon stories. I've got the Chris Sarandon story where he was, he was, I mean, he wasn't being, eh, you know, but I mean, he, anyway, I was pestering him about, um, it's like, well, you know, where's your photos for, you know, <laughs> where's Bordello of Blood and where's, uh, you know, where's the Sentinel? And he's just like, dude, leave me alone. And um, the other one that's funny is I was actually talking to uh, a woman who I don't remember if she was like his booking agent or if she worked for the convention and she was at his table. But like he freaked out because he said some kid walked by and took a picture of him and he started freaking out and wanted her to go chase the kid down and take the kid's phone away from him and like delete the picture. I guess. I don't know. And she was like, um, okay. So she like walked out of the thing and just walked around for a few minutes and came back and said, I couldn't find him. So it's a funny story. Who's the rudest celeb I've ever met at a con? Um, probably Corey Feldman. And it's, it's, it's odd because I've had two, I've met Corey Feldman twice. The first time I met him, he was nice he was personable he was friendly he was dressed normally um the second time i met him he looked like a bad michael jackson impersonator he was dressed like a bad michael jackson impersonator and it was very you know shake your hand with the glove on not look at you you know what's your name blah, blah, blah. get out of here there yeah. so i guess it depends his mood um depends on what his dress i guess you know if he's if he's in his michael jackson impersonator garb he's very standoffish if he's just dressed normally he's just you know normal guy if he's in his michael jackson get up you know steer clear i actually <laughs> i actually tried to watch that new leprechaun movie oh god i got through about 15 minutes of it that was about all I could take. Maybe I, I might have made it to 20 minutes because at one point I just kind of lost interest and was playing on my phone before I just shut it off entirely. So. My favorite Critters film was always part two, but now I've not seen. Uh, I've actually not sat down and rewatched part two just yet. I may do that tomorrow night, actually. I did hear that, that Resident Evil is getting its own Netflix show. I did hear about that. But now, isn't it supposed to be produced by, like, you know, Paul W.S. Anderson or something like that? So, I mean, it's basically going to be the movies only uh, on Netflix, you know? I think I, I think I heard that, too. But now I don't know. I'm, I've not looked into it. So, what am I up to on this lazy Sunday? Just, just hanging out. Just hanging out, relaxing. Hey, PlayStation 9, what's up? Uh, no idea on that, uh, Chris. The last I heard uh, about the Halloween book by Justin Beam is that it was just uh, lots of legal crap. And I, I, I mean, I guess it's just not going to happen. Um... Uh, I know Peter Brackey is working on a new book, but I don't know if he's revealed exactly what it is. So I, I don't, I probably shouldn't speak too much about it, but I know he's working on a new book. 
and and he's a busy man. He's doing uh, he's producing extras for Scream Factory releases now too. So he's a busy guy. Haim was cooler. I I would have loved to have met Corey Haim too. I would have loved to have met him. Oh yeah, I've seen Larry Clark films Traffic Cone. I like yeah, I, I like Bully a lot. Um, kids is you know I don't I don't know if Kids is a movie you can necessarily like. <laughs> um, I think it's a I think it's a very strong movie. Um, but yeah, I like Bully. Oh, and I also saw what was the one. It was the one that like it couldn't get released in the U.S. for what Ken Park Ken Park yeah I saw that one too. You've been having a lot of fun with the Resident Evil 2 remake PlayStation. I don't know. I, I, I may try that demo, the 30 minute demo that you can play for free and just see what, you know, see what's what and then maybe play the, you know, buy the full game. Uh, Colin Morris, what's the better soundtrack? Savage Streets or Lost Boys? For me, Lost Boys, of course. Lost Boys is one of the greatest soundtracks ever. Oh, the reason Ken Park has not been released is music rights, really? I thought it was because of other things that transpire in that film. I mean, that's basically, you know, it's basically porn. Hey, Robin Jennings, thank you so much for the uh, $5 super chat, man. I appreciate that. Just checking in. Have a good night. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate, you, appreciate your generosity. That is very, very cool of you, sir. Thank you so much. I, I, it's it's one of the best soundtracks ever, Jerp. That's for sure. That's for sure. Have I seen any Jason in real life? What do you mean, uh, Sawyer? Any of the Jason actors in real life? If that's the question, I've seen just about all of them, to be honest. Uh, the only one I think I've not seen is uh, Derek Mears. Because I met... I met um, I met Steve Dash. I bumped into, had a weird encounter with a Warrington Gillette in a bathroom. Um, met Ted White. I've met uh, Tom Morga. Oh, I've not met C.J. Graham. I've not met C.J. Graham. But I've, I've met Kane Hodder a um, couple of times. Not I've not met C.J. Graham and I've not met um, Derek Mears. Oh, my favorite scene from Thief. Oh, love that movie, man. The bit where the two cops are messing with him or the adoption agency scene. Those are good scenes. I think my favorite. I don't know if you can count this as a scene or not, but I love the I love the sequence right before the end of the movie where he goes to the, 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 the dude's house and he just kills everybody where he's like, you know, he, he, he destroys everything he has to get back to that men, that prison mentality. You know, he, he put too much emphasis on, you know, business and all, you know, possessions and all that crap. And so at the end, toward the end of the movie, you know what I mean? He just destroys it all. He goes back to that prison yard mentality before he goes and kills everybody. I love that. Love that. Great freaking movie. <clears throat> please play Fortnite. <sighs> uh, 
I don't know. I've actually I've I've not seen Critters Three in so long, Jeff. I'm gonna when I when I rewatch it, uh, the Blu-ray. I'm gonna do I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna review all the other movies in the in the set. I've seen that uh, Bellotto vlogs. Uh, the Chucky doll, but that Chucky doll is expensive from Trick or Treat Studios. Isn't that thing like five or six hundred bucks? That's that's expensive, dude. Thief is overrated. Pff, Cole, my God, dude. I, I hope you're joking. Hey, isn't that Devin Graham? How you doing, man? Piz will not be producing a Roy figure and Jason part. They are doing a ultimate Roy figure. They did a uh, like a little. They showed a, a, a picture of uh, an arm holding the road flare. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're working on a Roy ultimate figure. Can't wait for that. Cannot wait for that. And, and a part eight figure, uh, I'm sure they're going to do all of them before it's all said and done. But, yeah, the part eight would be really cool. Part seven would be, I mean, they'd all be cool. But I can't wait for the, uh, the Roy ultimate Roy. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, and thank you. Nightmare files for the dollar 99 super chat. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for your generosity. Hop on dead of night with me or dead by daylight. All my heroes are villains. Is that the one with, uh, is that the one with Michael Myers and Leatherface? Cause I did try that game for a while. Have I seen how? What a you mean? Uh, actors from the Friday the Thirteenth series, Sawyer. Yes, I've met quite a few people. Um, from the the series, uh, I met just about everybody from Part Five. Um, I've met Adrian King. I've met um, Amy Steele. I've met Lar Park Lincoln. I've met Kim Beck, Corey Feldman, of course. Uh, I think that's about it. Right, yeah, the, the Roy will be like uh, the ultimate um, like the other ultimate fr Friday the 13th figures that they've done Not, it, it'll have clothes on it just it won't be material clothes it'll be you know plastic have I seen Rambo's new oh no <laughs> I meant to watch that because uh, it looks like from the thumbnail he just about kills himself so I, I've not seen that just yet Jerp. I've not seen it just yet uh, it's $500, that Chucky figure from Trick or Treat Studios. And that's a bit outside my price range, man. Bit outside my price range. Uh, I'm from Southern Kentucky, Jeff. Southern Kentucky. How was Kim Beck? She was very cool. She was very, very nice. Very, very nice. expectations for rambo last blood um i don't know i really don't have any expectations for it to be honest um I, <laughs> rambo last blood wow i love stallone but i mean geez just milking Milk and nostalgia, man. Oh, man, that's a good question, DJ. If I could go back to the 80s and watch any film from the horror genre at the cinema, which one would you choose? Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> oh, 
Well, I mean, Lost Boys definitely jumps to mind. Um, God, <laughs> there are so many. The Lost Boys was the first one that jumped to mind, so I'll, I'll stick with the Lost Boys. <clears throat> the mask collection's coming along, uh, Overzone. It's coming along pretty nicely. I've actually got a new Myers mask uh, that I'm going to do an unboxing for here. Uh, that video I'll be out next week sometime. Um, I've not done the unboxing yet, but um, the guy who painted it for me sent me some pics, and it looks sick. Sick. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I've got a couple of things um, that um, the Devil's Latex are working on for me. So hopefully those will be in pretty soon, too. Uh, you'd love to see Chopping Mall in theaters. That would be cool. Chris Wynn Friday 3 in theaters. That would be cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> Jan Man Chronicles. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Piz, are you still using Gillette products? <laughs> what did I think of the ad? Uh, I was not a fan of the ad. Um, because I mean, the ad basically, the, the ad basically said, if you are a straight white man, then you are a bully, a misogynist. Um, just, you know, if you're, if you're a straight white man, you're not, you're not nice. That's basically what the ad said. And any kind of blanket, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, not a fan. I, I, I didn't use Gillette products to begin with. I use uh, Dollar Shave Club. DollarShaveClub.com forward slash Pizal, by the way. Wink, wink. Uh, but I use Dollar Shave Club. Don't use, don't, don't use Gillette. A razor is a razor. Theirs are just ten times what you would pay for them at Dollar Shave Club. The Lost Boys screening at Horror Hound. Was that the same weekend that, that was that the same weekend that I was there when I when I met you? I definitely would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> mean Dave Cranberry. Jeremy's in bed, man. Jeremy goes to bed 8 p.m. sharp every night. No no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 8 p.m. sharp every night in bed. So, yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, It was Saturday night of that. Man, I tell you, I really wanted to go watch Never Hike Alone. Um the screening of that but i got caught up in the robert england line for like three hours which that destroyed that so i mean i really wanted to do more at that convention it but the bad thing was they stacked up everything like it seemed like they stacked everything together so i mean like i wanted to watch another screening i don't remember what it was but it conflicted with a photo op and i just you know I didn't get to really do half the things that I wanted to do as far as screenings or, you know, Q&A panels or stuff like that, because it just seemed like everything was so stacked together, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what kind of Myers mask will I be unboxing next week? You'll have to wait and see Jason productions. You'll have to wait and see fires. What's up? Do I like the expendables movies? Um, they're okay. I, I've seen the first two. I mean, they're fun, you know, they're fun for what they are, but I think I've seen them both once and I've not seen any of the other ones. So. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Well, which 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 Halloween 2018 review do you, did you love? The review or the re-review? Because I actually did two. GameStop canceled your brother's pre-order of RE2 Collector's Edition. Really? That's not cool. So 
see that yeah that's what yeah i really wish that they would spread things out more max at, at conventions it seems like the bigger the convention the less um i don't know the bigger the convention the 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 the, the more compressed it is when it comes to timing of things and um it's really cool that they kind of spread things out at the halloween convention lucas fonseca what's up man hello can you tell director from remake black christmas glenn morgan to remake the 81 lucio fulci classic house by the cemetery and bill bill skarsgård as dr freudstein well I, I don't really know glenn morgan but I don't think uh, Glenn Morgan's kind of gone off the radar since the Black Christmas remake. Jeez. Um, I've seen... I saw the first Wrong Turn movie in the theater when it first came out. I don't know if I've seen any of the other ones, to be honest. Yes. Uh, zombie is region free. Mean Dave, the 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 blue underground one. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's region free. Um, I may have to. I may have to grab it off the shelf and check. But I, I think it is. Don't hold me to that though. But I think it is. That's a good question, Chris. I don't know, man. I, I, I wish. I wish April Fool's Day would get a Blu-ray release. It's 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 very sad that that movie has not gotten a Blu-ray release up to this point. A good quality Blu-ray release from somebody. It's a crying shame. Crying, crying shame. Uh, will the factory be screening my bloody Valentine this February? We have, we did a live commentary with um ah jeez I've completely forgotten his name T J <laughs> from my bloody Valentine a few years ago. That was a lot of fun. That was so much fun watching my bloody Valentine with T J. So much fun. Paul Kilman, Paul Kilman, he was really cool too. What is your scary movie, Robert Suave? I'm not sure what you mean. When will the Watchers get a Blu-ray? No idea, Jerp. That's a good question. I don't know that. I mean, that's that's a movie that you know you would think uh, Scream Factory or uh, you know would get their hands on. Oh, yes, I've seen the Ice Cream Man Sawyer. I did a review of the uh, Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray back when it came out. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Fun, fun movie. Ever saw Southern Comfort? Yeah, I've seen Southern Comfort. It's been a while, but yeah, I've seen it. What is my favorite horror movie and why? Um, good question. Uh, I, I would still have to say Texas Chainsaw Massacre is my favorite. I just think that movie was the, you know, that's the movie that set the standard for slasher movies, really just a horror movies in general. You know, it created the archetype and you know it was a watershed moment yeah i'm not sure what's up with uh poltergeist not getting a blu-ray release Uh, if you send, if I send a custom hockey mask I painted, will you unbox it on YouTube? Sure, Jason. Sure. Yeah, Max, there's a, yeah, there's a, um, there's a high def, um, 
a high def version of April Fool's Day out there. You can find it on streaming services. But unfortunately, yeah, no Blu-ray release. It sucks. It would be really cool to have a Blu-ray release for April Fool's Day with, uh, you know, good commentary, you know, good making of, some interviews with the cast and crew, and Fred Walton. It would be awesome. Just so sad that's not happened. Uh, no, I, I've not seen Revenge, uh, Jan Man. It's actually on my list to watch. Um, I just haven't gotten around to watch it yet. I've heard good things. I've heard good things, and I've heard I've heard mixed things about it. But I've heard mostly good things. So, geez, my hat's off to Rambo. I hope he's okay. The Ultimate Warrior did a workout video back in the day, too. It's pretty intense. The Scott Steiner one. Let me see if I can. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't screen share it. Scott Steiner might find me and hurt me. But the Scott Steiner workout video, he's got, like, women sitting on his lap, and he's, like, lifting, like, logs, and just, it, it's not, not healthy. Not a healthy workout at all. JC Martinez, what's up? Lucas Fonseca, what's up? Nodula Star, what's up? Oh, really? Dolph did a photo shoot at your gym once. Max, that's cool. Mason Moore, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Um, I, if if I go to Horror Hound this year, Jason, it'll probably be Friday. It'll probably be the Friday. But I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go yet or not, to be honest. If I do go, it'll be Friday. <clears throat> Chainsaw Wielding Maniac, what's up? You got some new music on your channel. Okay, I'll have to go check it out, man. Have I ever seen God Monster of Indian Flats? Nope. I, I don't think I've ever even heard of that movie. Hmm, that's cool. That's cool, Max. Are you planning on being there the whole weekend, Jason? Uh, no, I've not seen any of the animations on your channel, PlayStation 9. Ah, the opposite. <laughs> Retrocac, you changed your name. The obso the obsolescentist. <laughs> nice, I like it. I like that. PlayStation Nine. Let me check out your. Let me check out your channel. See what you see about your animations.
Send me some send me some vids, PlayStation 9. Send me some of your animation vids. The thing, the fog, it's on pre C thirteen, just uploaded. Okay, cool. Mellow yellow. Yeah, the whole weekend is the, that's that's an expensive proposition going the whole weekend for a convention. Very expensive. Favorite horror movies, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, JC. Lisa Daly, how are you? What's next? COD Zombies, the movie. You know, I'm surprised they've not made like a Call of Duty movie. I'm surprised. As huge as that, as as huge as the series was back in like 2010, 11, 12, I'm shocked they didn't make a Call of Duty movie around that time. I'm gonna go grab a refuel, guys, and I will be right back here in just a second.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Went and refilled my bottle of water. <clears throat> Let's see, what did I miss? Uh, are there any good upcoming Blu-rays? Um, good question. Um, uh, yes, there are some, some good upcoming Blu-ray releases. I just can't remember them off the top of my head right now. Um, let's jump on, uh, let's jump on Amazon and see. There's anything good that jumps out. Ooh, we've got a Willow. New Willow Blu-ray release coming out at the end of the month. Willow, any fans of Willow here? Um, not 4K. Um, got any extras on here? Doesn't say anything about extras. Maybe I should look at... Let's look at Blu-ray.com instead probably better Overlord is basically COD Zombies the movie I really want to see Overlord hopefully uh, it's coming out pretty soon on Blu-ray I'm looking forward to checking it out how many masks do I have? A lot. <laughs> uh, a lot. Hardcore Henry. I've still not seen Hardcore Henry. Really wanted to watch that movie, but I've, I've totally forgot about it, as a matter of fact. All right, let's see about some Blu-ray releases here. Ah, Screamers. It's coming out soon. It's been a while since I've seen Screamers. Uh, there's nothing out there. Uh, yeah, from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Vinegar Syndrome is releasing There's Nothing Out There and Slaughter University. That's coming out pretty soon. Uh, the new Suspiria Blu-ray comes out on Tuesday, which I did a review of that not long ago. Uh, Splatter, Splatter University, not Sl did I say Slaughter University? Splatter University. It's coming out from Vinegar Syndrome pretty soon, as well as the Uninvited, uh, the Vinegar Syndrome Cutting Class release comes out uh, on the 29th too. A lot of releases coming out Tuesday. The Cloverfield 3 movie Blu-ray collection comes out February 5th for all you Cloverfield fans. Looks like a new Blu-ray release of Donnie Brasco is coming out. The Possessed from Arrow. So there's some there's some titles to look forward to. Audition from Arrows coming out February twelfth. Valentine from uh, Scream Factories coming out February twelfth too. 
The new Fright Night Blu-ray is coming out on February 12th as well. So yeah, there's some titles to uh, to look forward to. John Wick Chapter 3. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. <clears throat> PSD, I loves the Halloween remake. I do. I love it. Love it. It's probably my favorite movie. All right, Mason. Have a good night, man. Take care. Jaden Grimes. What's up, man? Feels Creepy Vids. What's up, man? Hope you're doing well. February 19th for Overlord. Cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, Child's Play Remake. Um, uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've tried not to think about that, <clears throat> to be honest. I'll... <laughs> When that one happens, I'll... Uh, Child's Play Remake, okay. You pre-ordered both the Things Limited box sets from Amazon Germany. Cool. The Soul Tangler. Never heard of that one, uh, Dave. Yes, I have heard of Wacko Movie Mac, and Wacko is getting a Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome too. Yes, yes. Yes, I like Wacko. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember it being pretty funny. Ghostbusters three announcement. Um, I'm. Uh, I guess there's some hope for it if if Jason Ratman is directing it. I guess it it it, it completely depends on what the story is. You know what I mean? If it's gonna be. I don't know. Like I heard that, like, uh, I mean, have, hasn't uh, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson and Sigourney Weaver, haven't they already, they're, they're going to be in it, right? They've already like signed off. They're going to be in it. But is it true? They're not going to be like the focus of the film. Like I heard that the focus of the film is going to be like kids or something. But I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what's what I, I know. I heard that um, I saw like a, I saw like a photo of Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson, and Dan Aykroyd, and Sigourney Weaver all together. So, in their Ghostbusters attire. What's my favorite video game? Uh, favorite video game of all time, or favorite video game? Well, I guess, uh, let's just say favorite video game of all time. Um, and that would have to be... Uh, gosh, there's a couple. For... For Super Nintendo, it would probably be Mortal Kombat 2 or Tecmo Super Bowl. Um, on PC, I played a ton of Left 4 Dead and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, PlayStation 4, uh, as much as I, you know, I had so much fun playing Friday the 13th the game, but at the same time, there was just so much wrong with that game and there's so much still wrong with the game that it's it's a, it's a real bittersweet thing for me with Friday the 13th the game. I loved it. I had so much fun playing it. I had more fun playing that game um you know with friends than probably any other game I've ever played. But there was just so many things wrong with it that that could just ruin the game immediately. So, I don't know, it, it's, uh, it's bittersweet when I think of that game. Uh, but back to Ghostbusters 3, I, yeah, I know that like uh, Leslie Jones came out and she was really mad, and Paul Feig too, they're really mad that they're trying, that I, I guess Ghostbusters 3 is going to ignore their Ghostbusters, but you know, their Ghostbusters movie didn't make money at the box office. 
So, I mean, if their movie had made a lot of money at the box office, then they would do a sequel with all the ladies. You know what I mean? That movie didn't perform well. So they're not going to get a sequel. I mean, that's, that's Hollywood. That's the business. If your movie, if your movie doesn't make money, it's not going to get a sequel. <laughs> so I, you know, and of course there's, Oh, well it's, it's, you know, it's, it's misogyny. You know, they're still, you know, the, the ghostbusters, whatever it was, 2016, they're still riding the misogyny train. Every time somebody says something negative about the movie, it's misogyny. ever seen the suckling no actually that movie's in my list on in my uh uh amazon prime watch list <laughs> is ghostbusters my favorite movie i mean it's it's a movie that was like a big you know, big part of my childhood. <clears throat> oh yeah. The, yes. You're very true, Chris. You're very true. Eighties was the eighties was, it was a golden time for horror and it was a golden time for comedy. It'll, it'll never be like that again though. I'll never be like that again, though. Do you sell electronics? <laughs> no, don't sell any electronics, JC. Yeah, it's, it's not. You're, I mean, you're totally right, Cole. Yeah. Lots of sequels and remakes ignore, you know, it's 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 they're just making it a big deal because it's that movie. It's the Ghostbusters 2016 that they're ignoring. And like I said, any negativity toward that movie is, is completely written off as misogyny. Even to this day, it's sad. Uh, yes, Devin, I've seen It's Alive many, many years ago. Though. I don't remember very much about it, though. Swag Lord. I love that name. Love that name. Swag Lord. Oh, JC, sounds like your grandpa's got quite a collection there. Robin Carter, what's my favorite horror movie? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. 74. It's a game changer. I, I have no idea on that, Chris. All right, PlayStation 9, take care, man. All right, have a good one. Enjoy Left 4 Dead or Resident Evil 2. Oh, yeah, I've seen Brain Damage, Dave. I did a review of the uh, the Arrow Blu-ray that came out not long ago. It was pretty good. What's the weather like up in Canada? Or, uh, 
uh, coal. Did I watch Harry Potter? No, I've, I've not watched any of the Harry Potter movies. Hey, Mike Warner, what's up, man? I hope you're doing well. Jeremy is in bed. Jeremy goes to bed every night, 8 p.m. sharp. So, he's been in bed for about two hours now. Sleeping and dreaming about... Probably dreaming about... Uh, Dreaming about McDonald's and going to the used bookstore and buying lots and lots of books. Uh, actually, no, this is the, um, this is the, uh, it's the, it's the body knocker. Although it's, it's broken. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, light is supposed to make him rock like so, but he he's taken a couple of bumps, so he he no longer no longer knocks. Good question, Mike. Yes, I w or I'm sorry, Chris. Yes, I will see episode nine in the theater whenever it comes out. I've got to. I I, I hope it's. I hope it's a good experience. I hope it's a good experience. No, hopefully he's not dreaming of critters either, Mike. If he was dreaming of critters, he'd probably... <laughs> I'd probably hear about it. But, uh, yeah. That reminds me, I'm going to have to ask him about watching Critters too before I do my review of it. Max, you're a very, you know, worldly man. You're always traveling and, you know what I mean? You're, you're all over the place, man. You're out here doing a convention on the East Coast. You're on the West Coast. You're, you're just everywhere. Everywhere. Which Friday the 13th movie would you do a sequel on? I would just do a straight up sequel, just straight up sequel. All you need is the woods, some kids in the woods doing naughty things and Jason. And there you go. You don't need a backstory. You don't need an origin story. You don't need a mythology story. You just need, you know, the, the basics. That's, I think that's all we would want out of a new Friday the 13th movie. Give us some good kills, give us some good characters, give us some suspense, you know, and that's it. Can't wait to hear B-Movie Mike and Rambo's rants. <laughs> well, maybe they'll like episode nine, you know, maybe episode nine will, you know, maybe they'll like it. I doubt it, but you never know. Bloodthirsty Trilogy. I don't think I've seen it, Dave. I've actually not played Spider-Man on PS4. I was going to. I was going to get it, but I just didn't. Chop Block TV. Hello, what's up? Do I really think episode nine is a chance of being good and saving the new trilogy? After I don't, uh, I, I, I think it has a chance of being good, but I mean, I, the last Jedi for me, I mean, that was a big, you know, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna rebound after that. I mean, honestly, um, I don't know. I mean, I hope it's good. I really do. I hope it's good. But yeah, I mean, The Last Jedi was really that... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I, I Yes, I, I, I agree with you, Max. You're quite the traveler. Yeah. 
You know, Orc has theorized that you're some sort of hitman because you do so much travel. So. Ah, oh, thanks, Mike. I appreciate the kind words, man. Thank you. Yeah, I know J.J. Abrams is in a tough position trying to, you know, with episode nine. But again, fingers crossed. I hope I hope I hope it turns out well. Super Bowl in five are you going you're going to the Super Bowl in five days, is that what you're saying, Max? So you've been to you've been to two Super Bowls, Max. Jeez, I'm beginning to think you're a hitman too. Travel that much, going to Super Bowls and conventions all the time. Goodness gracious. Rogue One or Solo? Um. Uh, hmm. It's a good question. I would probably say solo. I didn't think either one were great, but I thought solo was just fun, you know, just fun. And really, I don't remember a whole lot about Rogue One now, to be honest. <laughs> You're a hitman of travel discounts. If they exist, I will target them and execute with prejudice. Very nice, Max. Very nice. I don't know. Max, are you a millionaire? Valis, what's up? Chowing down on some homemade pizza. Very nice. Very nice. Did you guys out there, did you have the, when you were in high school or just in just elementary school, the, the, the school cafeteria pizzas, the, like, the, you know, the, the, the block pizza, the, uh, n not quite a square, but more of an, an, an oblong shaped pizza. Did you guys have those in your school when you were growing up? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I love the first, you know, episodes four, five and six. I actually, you know, I, I don't mind the the Phantom Menace. Um, whatever. The, what was the middle one in the in the prequilogy? Was it Attack of the Clones? That one was just, oh, God, I couldn't stand that one. And then I didn't even watch Revenge of the Sith in theaters. I didn't watch that movie for years. <laughs> and then I finally watched it. I mean, it was OK, but. Hey, Val, I hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, man, that pizza was good, dude. I've been I've been trying to find that pizza. <laughs> There's actually a, a a place nearby here that says that they have it, and I've been threatening to drive and go and see and get some. So, Jackson Jack, what's up, man? If people been asking you all night if you're going to play Resident Evil 2. No, I've had a, I've had a couple of questions. Um, I've had, not really anybody asking me to play it, but people talking about it. I think I might try the the demo, the free demo, 
you can play for 30 minutes free and see if, you know, if it's something I want to invest 60 bucks in. I don't know. The game I'm really waiting for is Mortal Kombat 11. I've not, no, I, I, I don't have a Switch. Um, I, I've not had a Nintendo since Super Nintendo. I've got the, the NES Classic and the SNES Classic, if that counts. Um, I like Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and Part 2. Not a fan of, not a fan of really any of them beyond that. I don't know if it had a name brand, Mike. It was just it was just the weird, you know, like flat or thin crust, you know, squarish, elongated square, whatever that's called. It's not an oblong. It's a I can't even think, but I don't know. It's just so good. Maybe it's just my memory. I'll try some now. I'll be like, oh, this is awful. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> I've not played Red Dead Two. Oh, it comes in a roll. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, yeah, the Mortal Kombat 11 uh, Collector's Edition. 300 bucks, man. Jeez, that is... That's a little too rich for my blood. It looks cool, but for 300 bucks, it, it should look really cool. Yeah, I heard about that, Jackson. Yeah. There are two Friday the 13th this year. Anything planned for the factory? Well, we've not done a live commentary with Peter Brackey for part seven. Or did we do part seven? I, yeah, we actually did part seven. So I think we've got part eight up. So we'll probably do part eight for one of those Friday the 13th. Yeah, MK11 looked a lot like Injustice 2, I thought, as far as graphically and like how the how the the matches ended and just the the gameplay overall. But um I don't know. Still looking forward to it. Wasn't a big fan of Injust of the Injustice games, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. It'll it'll be it'll be here pretty soon. And we'll get the demo or we'll get the beta uh pretty soon too. So Did we do part two? Um I don't know. I think we started at like a weird point. Because I think we did the first Friday the 13th uh, commentary we did, we did it just us without a guest. We may have started with part four. I don't know. Let me see. We've done so many shows that like we were going to do a movies of 1988 show this year. And we'd all like forgotten that we did one last year <laughs> for the movies of 1988. Let's see. We've done part four. We've done part five. We've done part six. We've done part seven. We did part one, but we did that without Peter Brack. It was just us. Um... We did part three. So no, I don't think we did part two. We've not done two. 
So yeah, we, we need to backtrack and do two with Peter. So I don't know, maybe we'll do two this this year and eight. And maybe, you know, just for the heck of it, maybe we'll we'll redo the uh the part one and do that one with Peter. Because we did that one four years ago. The Friday the thirteenth commentary was four years ago. Let me see the exact date. June thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. And there is there's Barry. <laughs> I'm making you hungry, Dave. Don't promote your show on here or Cole, okay? Don't do that. That's have some cooth, okay? Jeez. Yes, I have seen Crystal Lake Memories, Jaden. Very good documentary. Very good. Hey, Aaron Lewis, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Mike Pope, what's up? Hello from Middle Tennessee, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. If I were forced to go on a date with any actress, musician, or artist, who would it be and why? Ooh. Man. Oh, Jan, man, that's a good question. I don't know. Actress, musician, or artist? Jeez. Well, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? If you guys were forced, quote unquote, forced to go on a date with any actress, musician, or artist, who would it be? And why? That's a good question. Uh, let's see. An actress. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one for a second, man. Uh, <laughs> you're okay, Cole. It's okay, Cole. You can promote the, uh, you can promote your show. It's fine. Elio's Pizza always reminded you of the pizza from school. Let me see. I'm going to have to look that up. Let me look up Elio's Pizza. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does look a lot like school pizza. Yep, that looks a lot like it. Let me see. Let me look around my room here. Um, just looking at movie posters, actresses, artists, musicians I'd like to go out to dinner with. Ooh, how about Jamie Lee Curtis? Wouldn't that be cool? How about Jamie Lee Curtis circa, um, oh my God, what was that movie she did with uh, Travolta? What was that called? Perfect, yes. Yes, how about going to dinner with uh, Perfect Era, Jamie Lee Curtis. All right, let's stop talking about pizza, because we're driving Dave crazy. Ah, uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, she would be cool. Yeah.
Who do you want to play Freddy Krueger other than Robert England? Um, uh, honestly, probably nobody. I think they should do one more Not Real Elm Street movie with Robert England and let that be that. I think they should do one more with Robert England as Freddy for nostalgia purposes and then wrap it up. That's it. I believe that's perfect. Jackson Jack, the movie I was talking about. Uh, no, I don't watch Channel Zero, Dave. Oh, sure, England would do the role in a second, sure. I mean, and can you imagine? He's already charging like, you know, 100 bucks for an autograph, 110, 120 bucks for a photo op. If he did go, black, go back and play Freddy one more time, I mean, those, they, those numbers would double. What's up, uh, CJM? What's up, man? Will you ever buy an 8K TV? <sighs> Not for a long time. This my, my 4K TV is still pretty relatively new. I don't... Um, yeah. Uh, 8K. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, England would do it, man. I'm sure England would do it. Do it in a second. Patrick Stewart playing Freddy. Okay. Your Jason S. Jason X hockey mask look like? Um, I don't have a Jason X. The last couple of Jason X masks I, I painted, I sold. Yeah, I've seen I've seen that, uh, Dave. Pretty good movie. Thank you, Valis. Uh, not really excited for the new Terminator movie. I mean, honestly, I, I, I don't know if I can get excited for really anything Terminator related after Genesis. Um, unless it's written and directed by Cameron. Cameron's got creative control. Uh, yeah, but... I don't know. That's another series. I mean, that just, just, you know, I mean, just let it go. What is worse for you listening to Justin Bieber, watching Twilight or being at a convention for, or, or being at a convention for toxic masculinity? Um, man, uh, Justin Bieber's music is pretty horrific. There's no doubt about that. Um, Twilight. And you know what? 
uh, I don't know if I've ever told this story. <clears throat> I went and watched Twilight at the movie theater with some coworkers. And <clears throat> it was jam packed, jam packed. It was all like high school girls with their boyfriends and their boyfriends just looked like they were being dragged through, you know, they looked like they were just, you know, <laughs> they were all thinking, I'm sure I better get lucky. I better get lucky after watching this crap. I better get lucky. But, um, it was so funny cause we went into the theater. Of course it's jam packed and I'm just cracking up. I'm, I'm laughing hysterically at this movie because it's just so you know <laughs> and like I mean I, I was having to like you know like sink down in my chair and cover my mouth because I would like start laughing and like these you know these high school girls would look at me like you know they would just rip me to shreds for laughing at their movie and uh, but God, it was so fun. It was actually a pretty fun movie going experience, to be honest, because I mean, I was just uh, I was dying laughing because like all of the gushy, you know, lovey dovey scenes, the girls, just, oh, oh, and I would just crack up. And like the performances in that movie are just so awkward and it's just so, you know, like I, 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 I just laughed the whole time. Oh, jeez. And I mean, I, I, you know, toxic masculinity, my God. Hope all is well with you and Jeremy. You guys rock. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Now, Jason, Jason. Uh, well, what's the question, Jaden? Uh, you said that if you would do a sequel to Friday the 13th, 1980 in your sequel, it, it wouldn't be a sequel necessarily to the original. It would just be, I mean, you, you it, it, all you need for Friday the 13th is Jason, the woods and kids up to no good. That's all you need. Don't need a, a, a backstory. You don't need a mythology. You don't need, um, you know, you don't need any of that. <laughs> you need Jason in the woods with some young people up to shenanigans and Jason doing what Jason does best. That's all you need. So it wouldn't, it, it doesn't need to be a direct sequel to any Friday the 13th movie. Just, you know, plop some kids in the woods. Jason's there with his mask on, his hockey mask on. He's got his machete. He's doing his business. There you go. Give us good kills. Give us good characters. You know what I mean? Give us some suspense. Uh, give us some thrills and chills. And I mean, that's all you need. All you need. Patrick Stewart was great in Green Room, Dave. Was great in Green Room. I could not get on board with Genesis literally from the beginning when they like, you know, turn John Connor into a machine or whatever they did to him to, to whatever it's like, you know, this guy's that we, we've had all these movies where he is the savior. He is, you know what I mean? All of these movies have been about preserving his life. And then in the first five minutes of Genesis, he's screwed. He's done. And I thought, I thought Amelia Clark was horribly miscast as Sarah Connor horribly miscast would I bring Tommy back uh, yeah, absolutely absolutely Tom Matthews as Tommy Jarvis absolutely and then that could be the tie into you know what I mean what's going on in the movie to, to tie it to other Friday the 13th movies you know I mean think of it as Tommy Jarvis you know what I mean he's still in you know the area they've changed the name or whatever he's still in the area you know these murders start to happen that you know are very jason like and so he decides you know he's got to you know he stopped jason once he's got to go do it again and that could be what ties the movie into you know 
the series. But, you know, doesn't need to be, you know, don't need to explain the ending of part eight. Don't need to, you know what I mean? <laughs> don't need to just, you know, one of the things I like about Jason Goes to Hell is that it just throws you right into the movie. You know what I mean? There's no, you don't have to explain how Jason went from Manhattan back to Crystal Lake, how he grew up, you know what I mean? <laughs> from after being turned back into a kid, thanks to the toxic whatever, you know, that was one of the things I really liked about that movie is it just threw you right in. So... How much is a remake hockey mask? Um, I've, I've sold two. I don't remember how much I've sold them for. Uh, probably about, I don't know. Why don't you, um, why don't you send me an email through my website, Jason Productions? Or actually, uh, message me on Instagram. Message me on Instagram. No, it, it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be a direct sequel to any of them. It just needs to, it, Tommy is, would be the only tie to the other series. That's it. And I mean, you, you could make a good Friday the 13th movie without Tommy. Tommy could be thrown in there for, you know what I mean? You know, for the hardcore fans, for the nostalgia. I think it, I think it'd be a smart move to bring Tommy back, but I mean, you wouldn't necessarily need Tommy. Guys, we've been going for just over two hours. I think I might go ahead and call it a night, but um, definitely want to thank all you guys for hanging out with me tonight and talking about movies and uh, this and that and the other on this lazy Sunday. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to Nightmare Files and to Robin Jennings for their very generous uh, super chats. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks so much. And, um, yeah, thanks to all you guys for hanging out with me tonight. It was a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, I try to do these things a little more often because it's always fun to do a live stream and hang out with you guys and talk about movies and this and that and the other. So you guys have a great night. Have a great week. I'll see you again soon. Take care and peace.